Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We have already opened up the first in the box of the second series of these cubes. We're gonna open up Olivia's today because she's got a sweet shop, a teeny tiny sweet shop that fits into a cube. And she's going to have a mystery colored, oh goodness, I have forgotten what animal she has. That's right, we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> I can't remember, it's gonna be a mystery color and at the moment it's a mystery animal. <laughs> I cannot remember what it is. All right, let's slit the bottom of this open and let's open it up and get everything out and I don't know why I'm speaking with a really bad English accent because I'm Australian. Ah, okay, this is not coming out. It's not coming out at all. Come on. Right, so, okay, we've got all the pieces out of the box. So I can see Olivia's body parts in there. Here's our sheet of stickers and here are our instructions. And this will remind me of, oh, it's a teddy. I knew there was a reason I wanted to open the sweatshop. She's going to get a teddy, a sweatshop. <laughs> Sweet shop, okay. Uh, yeah, so she's going to get a different colored teddy. I don't know why there's a teddy hanging out in a sweet shop, but I'm not complaining. So here is her box, which the new color has got that pink pearlescent, like see-through part, and pink is her color for the other side, whereas Emma's was purple. And there's the box with the teddy in it. Let's open it up, open all the little bags up, and then we can then we can put Olivia together and see whether she is a unique Olivia for this particular set. <gasps> teddy in here. <laughs> I just can't help but shake it. See if she's a unique Olivia or one that we've seen before. Uh, actually, I think from the picture, it's she's pretty much wearing the things that we've seen before. I'm so excited for the third series now, though. I just love those blue, those aqua blue boxes. <laughs> but I shall enjoy the second series until then. Okie dokie. Let me see. Where are her legs? Where are your legs, Olivia? Here they are. Legs 11 for Olivia. And she has got... Oh, they, okay, we've seen this before. Still no printing on the back. I mean, would it kill you, Lego, to print the planets around the back of her stockings too, so it doesn't look so weird? But I understand they are really just starting to put printing on the back. These are all old prints. Well, sorry, old pieces. So... They, not the new ones that have the prints on the back, but hopefully we'll see more and more of them as we go along. Her hair looks the same as we've been seeing and her hair piece as well. So nothing new here, which is fine because I really like this top with the little Pac-Mans on it. Little Pac-Mans? <laughs> little Pac-Man. Little Pac-Men. Mans. Uh, and she's got five dollars or five cents or five pounds, as we debated last time, uh, to spend at the sweet shop. And now we get to put together our little plug-in piece for one side of the cube. And we've got her colors, which are the blue and that, that pastel yellow. And here we're building like a... Oh, be still my beating heart. It, it's a chocolate fountain. Oh my goodness. Ah, okay, this is so, so unsanitary. <laughs> There's a chocolate fountain, I just want to lick it. We've also got a cash register, of course, because we have to pay for these things before we lick it. Oh, you don't just lick the chocolate fountain, fine. We get a marshmallow, which has already got some chocolate on the top. I'm assuming it's a marshmallow. It could be whatever you want it to be. It could be a white piece of chalk for all I care, as long as it has chocolate on it. So she's busy dipping that into the chocolate fountain, not just putting her head under it and licking the chocolate, because that would be totally wrong, but delicious. On the other side, we've got a hinge and a red piece and a blue piece and another red piece. La la la, I feel like we can make a song out of this. There is a stick here and over here, there's a stick over here. And on here, we got a hinge and this pink piece is getting a whole heap of treaties on it. We've got two big blocks of chocolate up here, which kind of now just looks like one big block of chocolate when you put them side by side. We've got some sort of strawberry gummy sweet thing here. I'm just making this up to go along. A pepperminty swirly, or two pepperminty swirly things, and a delicious biscuit. Some sort of delicious biscuit. And they go here on our little angled piece, so you can angle them so that people can see them perfectly. Ooh. And this red thing, it's kind of, is it a fire hydrant? Because this is how we tend to start building fire hydrants. It is not a fire hydrant. It's a gumball machine, but the gumball machine's empty. You know what? We are going to rectify that at the end of this video. We're going to fix the fact that that gumball machine is empty because that just breaks my heart. Cannot bear to see an empty gumball machine. <laughs> Let's stick these in here. But before we do that, speaking of sticking, we need to put some stickers on. So we'll put the lights in the back so it's beautifully lit and on this side too and then we can put the nice big sweet shop sticker on which is super duper cool. I can see people wanting a whole heap of these to make their own sweet shop out of. Making a bigger sweet shop would be super duper fun. So 
So let's get this lined up and make sure that it is straight. That's pretty straight. <laughs> I'm having a good day. Now, now we can plug in which one goes on which side. Doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want now. If we put these ones on this side and that goes on this side as per the instructions and that little blue dot there. I was just, I was trying to show you how easy it is to get this out. It's, but okay, I'm not, <laughs> not succeeding then. You can pull the whole plate out again to play with it outside of the cube. But the little blue dot is actually for our teddy. But look at the extra pieces we got. We got extra sweets. And we could actually make an extra whole marshmallow with chocolate. We got some more money, so we can spend more. <laughs> we can spend more at the sweet shop. But let's find out what color teddy we've got. I don't know what color I want. I think I like them all. So let's see. It's a dark purple teddy. Oh, oh wow. He is met <laughs> metalescent. I just made that word up. I'm pretty sure he's metallic and it's fantastic. And th that's a l he's very metallic. It's so shiny that I'm actually having trouble. His eye looks so weird because the lights, my studio lights are busy <laughs> bouncing off that, that eye. So he looks, makes his eyes look a little bit freaky, but he is very cute. It's a cute freaky bear in the sweet shop. Why is there a teddy in the sweet shop? Don't know, maybe he likes chocolate. <laughs> Okay, now we've got them all safely contained inside the cube. Now we get to put some stickers on the outside of the cube. Let's match these up a little bit to what we've done on, not Stephanie's cube, on Emma's cube. And they've all seemed to have these escalators. And this is going to confuse me because this, right, so does this say downstairs to the sweet shop or upstairs? I don't know. I'm going to have to try and figure that out. I'm very directionally challenged. If you've just joined me here on LEV Toys and you have never heard me say that before, I am totally directionally challenged. So these sort of things confuse me no end, which is strange because I love doing Lego, but the directions are so clear that even I can't get it wrong. We've got some sweets on the front of the box and on the back, we're going to mixy matchy it just like on Emma's cube. We're going to put the shopping emblemy thing Oh, in the middle and then on the side in the top corner here we're going to put this as the little checklist so this has got to check under the bonbon for the actual sweet shop see just like we have in Emma's but in a different color and of course a different part of it is checked because that one was the toy shop and this one is the sweet shop and on this side here just like we're doing with all the rest putting the little heart up here because otherwise it would disappear into the pink down the bottom and the little cog which is exactly what we see for, well, it's Olivia's emblem. It's her motif. It's her light motif. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. So we can stack these, but now I've just, I'm having problems. Let's put Emma in before I have my problems because, and, and our llama, ah, oh, I'm still so cuted out by that llama. Having problems because I cannot figure out which way the escalator should be. So maybe we should be going up to the lolly shop turning around I should, is that how the escalators tell me it should be going i really don't know i'm so confused but you know what this is going to be so much fun getting all the girls out and they can like they can visit each other's teeny tiny shops and they can buy whatever they want <laughs> and olivia can actually feed emma some of this chocolate coated marshmallow but we've just done an interesting segue here because i promised we were going to fill this up with gumbo. So let's do that. Let's get some hundreds and thousands. Sprinkles. These have been in my cupboard for about 10 years, so they will be perfect for this. I'm sure they're already petrified. <laughs> this sugar, they don't go off, right? Not that it matters because they're just going into Lego. So if we, we might just scoop some out and then the inside of the see-through bit is actually hollow to an extent. It's kind of hollow. So we can scoop these up. I was actually going to try and funnel them in, but scooping them seems to work perfectly well. It's not very messy, which is nice too. And now we've got some gumballs in here. We seem to have a predominant amount of white there, which is a bit sad, but I could always just choose. I could I could be choosy about what gumballs but go in, but for the purposes of this video, we've now filled the gumball machine up with antique hundreds and thousands. And they look perfect. See? My heart's happy now. We've got a full gumball machine. <laughs> See, it's so easy and so, so cute. Okay, we have done two of these cubes. There are five, five of them. So three left to go. That's maths, basic maths, and I can do that. 
I can totally do that. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you give the video a nice big thumbs up and I'll be back with another one very, very soon. Now I'm off to eat some really, really old hundreds of thousands. <laughs> See you soon.